Hey ladies, I hope you are having a wonderful day. So today in this video, I wanted to share with you some things that I am not doing this year. Uh, there have been some things that I have been wanting to work on as far as minimalism goes. About two years, I really delve into it and uh, just really research more about minimalism and how to uh, implement that in your life and just practical ways to start doing that in your life and making that change and I've just kind of learned more along the way here and there and this year I had set some goals for myself to really work in certain areas and to get better in certain areas so this year I have decided not to buy any more new clothes this does not mean that I'm not buying any clothes. I mean that I'm not going to go out and buy any clothes for myself. I know I will need some clothes. But this is something I've thought a whole lot about and just really contemplated and knew I needed to take this step for myself. I knew it would be good for me. I knew it would be good for my family in the long run. But I decided I'm not buying any more new clothes. I'm going to buy secondhand for this whole year and just see how it goes. And there are several reasons why I decided to do this and I wanted to share them with you. So the number one reason is just to challenge myself. I think I just I'm tired of buying into the consumerism propaganda of just they constantly put out new clothes, new fads, new trends all the time and they're cheap products mass produced and um, we're told all the time to new season buy new wardrobe, new season buy this really cute dress you have to have it everyone loves it um, and they give you deals and discounts and you have store cards and um, I just want to really personally work on not buying into consumerism and constantly feeling like I have to keep up in that regard. Um, one of the biggest wastes in our country is clothing. Um, it's just mass produced like crazy and we're really terrible with it as, as a nation as a whole I guess in just you know buying something new, wearing it two, three times, throwing it out. Buying something new, not even wearing it and throwing it out. And so I want to be more intentional about what I buy and where I buy it and not buying new actually. I wanna to try to do my best to buy used because there are really good things out there that are used and good quality things that haven't even been used much. The second reason is to save money. And I think you can look at this in two different ways. Uh, I definitely feel like buying used will save you money in the long run in that I have decided to buy good quality clothes second hand. So this may mean that I buy a clothing item, let's say I want a gray sweater, and I'm going to choose to buy a gray sweater from a company that makes really good quality clothes and that also makes clothes that are not trendy or faddish. So it's very basic and classy that will carry me from season to season to year and year and not go out of style. So this means that it's probably going to be more expensive. However, if I buy used, I actually will be saving money in the long run and I can buy a used good quality item versus a brand new poor quality item for about the same price and so I'm wanting to go with an item that is going to have the longevity and the quality there so I'm saving money and and the fact that I'm not going into stores like Old Navy and Target to look for clothes every season. I'm not buying into, oh, it's a sales rack, you know, like I'm going to get this shirt that's only $3. And when I really don't need that shirt that's $3, even though it's a good deal, it's actually not a good deal because it's not good quality clothing. It's probably faddish, not made well, um, and it's, it's just not an item that I need. So yeah, I just wanted to share with you my plan as far as my own personal minimalism goals as far as just clothing. Um, this year I'm not buying any new, brand new clothes. I will however probably buy new um, undergarments, that's not something I want to use secondhand, things like that, but as far as outer apparel and clothing and all that, I will be buying um, used clothes, I will be buying 
well-made, good quality clothes. Yes, that means no more clothes from Old Navy, no more clothes from Target, which I know is crazy. Most of my wardrobe comes from there and I've always loved shopping there, but no more new clothes from there. Personally for me, I've decided to just quit buying into that and actually go for something quality and that will carry me for a longer period of time. This does not mean that I will get just go in my closet and get rid of Target and Old Navy clothes that I already have. This doesn't mean I'm gonna throw those out. I'm gonna to continue to wear those until you know they have a hole in them, they fade or whatever. I'm not gonna be wasteful and just throw those out and start completely over. That would be wasteful and it would also uh, not be very smart money wise to have to throw all those out and then go buy new clothes. So yeah, I just wanted to share with you my plans in that regard. What are some things that you're trying to get better at as far as minimalism? And I'm not saying that because I choose not to buy new clothes, that means that um, I look down on that or anybody that does buy new clothes, absolutely not. This is just something that I felt like I needed to take a step in, uh, in my life. And this is something I wanted to get better at personally in my life and think more about. Um, minimalism looks different for everyone and every family and I think there's no right way to do it and so just decide for yourself you know I want to get better in this area and just make some steps and some plans to carry through with that and to accomplish your goals and this is one way that I'm doing it this year as far as my clothing Thanks for watching this video, y'all, and please let me know down below if there are any questions you have or things you want to share with me as far as your journey with minimalism. Um, any of your questions or comments are greatly welcome. I love reading all of y'all's um, words, and they're very encouraging and kind. And yeah, thanks for watching this video. And if you will, if you haven't yet, subscribe and like, like this video, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.